Shaza, yeah. you have new dice or old dice that are cute. I currently have old dice. Because the dice that I stole from you, yeah. really good. I killed a whole party with them. God dang it, my curse didn't work. Oh. Anyway, high blood. <laughs> is this the Critical Role art book? Yes, it is. Wait, 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 go back, go back, go back. Wait, 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 wait. Percy's so handsome in this picture. Oh, yeah, he is. Nope. It's not a picture, it's a painting, but you know. <laughs> yeah, no mercy, Percy. Oh. Yeah. Um, I really wanted this. What, this book? Yeah. And I haven't even been through it properly. Oh, well, you can have a look at it after this, I Yeah, suppose. for sure. But let's get down to what's proper, mm -hmm. right? Let's look at those dice. Dice? Yeah. yeah sure. So, uh, these are some of my own personal favorite from my uh, collection. All right. So, uh, it's nice you put these in corners and stuff. Mm -hmm. Why is that dice alone? This one? Yeah. This one is... It's so sad and lonely. <laughs> it doesn't have friends. This one's kind of special in a way because uh, one... This is actually uh, out, of, out of production. Uh-huh. Yeah, so this, the, uh, this particular dice that they're not being made anymore. This is from Crystal Case. I mean, from here doesn't look anything special. It doesn't look any sp anything special, but once it hits the light in the right way at a certain angle... Uh, I mean, I can barely it... see it. You sure? I can... Oh, oh, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing the magic now. Okay, yeah, those are nice. So you only have one of these? Only one. Or it, they used to sell uh, sets of these. This uh -huh. one is called uh, Moonstone aqua purple i think and it because they, they have different moonstone sets uh from crystal case there was moonstone jade there was maple mm -hmm. there was aqua purple and there was aquarius something i've learned yeah dice companies are really bad at naming things really yeah i don't know <laughs> i think that's just you oh right yeah that, leave that poor dice alone it's in its own shame box hey don't shame my dice okay so out of all of these mm -hmm. There's one corner. Yeah. The Chinese New Year dice. <laughs> What's up with those? This is a Chinese New Year dice, but <laughs> it mean, looks like Chinese New Year dice. I mean, it's red got and gold, and red. sure, whatever. Uh, this is by Q Workshop. These uh -huh. are Pathfinder dice. And Ew. Yeah. Uh, Pathfinder? I, I don't play Pathfinder, but I like these just because they look pretty. Who are you, Anas? No. Then why'd you get Pathfinder dice? They just look pretty! <laughs> okay, they honestly they do look pretty. The designs on them are, are yeah. kinda cute. Yeah. Anything stand out about them other than that? Uh, well with Q Workshop, they have a lot of dice that usually have a lot of designs on them. So this one is called Crimson Throne. Uh-huh. Uh, I guess you can tell you can why. Can why? Yeah. This one has like a crown <laughs> on the D20 area. But why is it thrown though? Why, can it be cr cr Crimson Crown then? I don't know. Don't ask me. I'm not the one who named the dice. Well, what ask about the, the designs on the lettering? What is that? Are those like florets or something? Are they like fractals? Not even fractals. They're just cute little designs. They're just designs that complement the dice, I suppose. <laughs> they're, they're pretty cute. Pretty cute. But uh, not really my style. Oh those, yeah, you're more into clear kind of dice. Yeah, like those uh, really interesting inclusions. Autumn dice in the corner there. This one? Yeah, th those fiery red orange dice. Yeah, so this one is Firefly Red. This uh -huh. is also by Crystal Case. Perfect for a sorcerer. Absolutely perfect. Sure, for fire spells and everything. Exactly, fireball someone like <laughs> fireball a whole team. Six okay. times. Ay, ay, ay. What purpose. kind of sort? I do not want you in my party. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing I'm a DM. Anyway, <laughs> dice. Back to the dice. Yeah. What's happening? Uh, so, uh, as you can see, I kind of have a few dice missing. I might have to order uh, some new, a new set just because. So yeah, so this is Crystal Case. This is called Firefly Red, uh -huh. and they also have other colors available, like this one here. Uh -huh. This one's Firefly Green. I'm just going to ignore that the green one doesn't have a D20. Okay. Okay. We're not going to bring that up at all. <laughs> I just, I did say that I kind of lost a few of the singles, and which makes me really sad, which is why I want, I want to reorder okay. a full set. A full set. Yeah. And then these are just going to be lonely forever. Yeah, but I really love these because <laughs> I, I don't know, there's something about the vibrancy the, and the, the clarity. The, yeah, 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 yeah. It's just, uh, I can just... Usually, I can just, you pair yeah, red and green with like, with, with darker colors, but having them transparent like that, you don't really see that. What? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, they're just and so it, pretty. It's a sad thing that you had to pick up a D12 and a D20 instead of two D20s. I know! <laughs> <laughs> but those are fine. Those yeah. are great. If only they were complete sets. True. Yeah, they've gone down in value like 200%. Can you order kidding. a set for me? Uh, we'll think about that. Okay. 
but something even more special, in my mm -hmm. opinion. A place in my heart forever. These critical roll dice. Ah, uh, I'm so right? glad you brought that Campaign up. Campaign one brought me to tears. I finished all the episodes. Did you finish watching all the yes, episodes? Yes, I have. Yeah. It broke me so bad. Okay, let's not get into spoilers because people haven't finished it. But these dice. Mm -hmm. These dice. Yeah. Let's talk about them. Okay. So why are they special? <laughs> they are special because one, I love critical role. Uh -huh. uh, Who doesn't love critical role? Right? Have you met a critical role hater? I don't think I've met a critical role hater. Not hater, but not a fan, basically. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. If you're indifferent, it's fine. But if you dislike it, I'm <laughs> gonna do nice things to you. I'm gonna bring you out, have a nice meal with you, and have a civil discussion about why you don't like critical role. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's not that. Back to the dice. <laughs> okay. Back to the dice. Uh -huh. the, is that is that is that grog? Yeah, that's that grog. grog strong jaw with yep. the red and black. Yeah. So all these dice they've been personally uh, designed by all the actors who play the characters in Critical Role. Uh huh. Uh, this one is Grog's dice. Let, let's let's put that together with this uh, one. Vex, Vax, Vax and Vex. Vax and Vex. Yeah. Okay, twinsies. Uh -huh. Okay, hang on, let me find the logo. Vix and Vox is uh. Vix and Vax, Vax and Vi Vax and Vex. Vix and, and Vox, right? Okay. Right. There you go. So these are connected. Why? Uh, these are connected one because in real life these uh these two the actor actor uh, actress and actor. <laughs> they're both actors. Yeah. Right. Twenty twenty. They're, they're all basically they're all voice actors. So uh -huh. this one is this. Uh, <laughs> these two yeah, yeah, yeah. share the same birthday. Yeah. I'm sure of that. Yeah. And the voice actors for the for these dice, the characters that they play as, share the same birthday. They call themselves twinsies, and so they play Vax and Vex, uh, twin half elves in the Critical Role campaign for Campaign One. Also, it's because of their birthday that Critical Role even started. Because that's what. Yeah, because that's when they they first started playing D and D. Was w on their birthday. Oh they started right, playing no, together. it was it was on. Uh, Liam O'Brien's birthday. Exactly. That's Liam when he got everyone. That's when he got everyone together. And Laura together. Bailey. He, uh, yeah. the he was the catalyst, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, and also Grog right here. Uh huh. Grog. Uh, so Grog played by uh, Travis Willingham. He's married to Laura Bailey. Yes. Cue heart music. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Laura Bailey. <laughs> so Travis and Laura, they're married. Yeah. So that's probably why they're connected in this case. <laughs> yeah, and I think they're like the only like, these two are the only like solid dice really. These set. Well, so, uh, hmm. I mean, these are nice and marbled. Like I like that, 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 that white and green and that white and black. Cause you know, you gotta be emo if you're Vax. But the red and black is just so simple. And it's just, it, it spells out Grog. <laughs> he, he had intelligence of like six, right? Was it six? Was it six or was it seven? It might have been six. It might have been six or seven. Been six. Just barely enough to be sentient, and he couldn't even read. That's how simple of a yeah, character he was. Yeah, but Pike tried to teach him to read, which is <laughs> the most cutest thing ever. And the, I remember that episode when uh, when he when he when this when the potion stopped working, uh -huh. he oh. completely forgot oh. how to read. But Matt g gave him a chance to at least try to remember how to say his name, how to spell it out. Yeah, how to spell it out. So, name, yeah. Aww. yeah, you know? That was sweet. Those, those moments like that is what makes this show special. Let's look at those clear dice. Cute, cute, clear dice in the Critical Role set. These ones? Yes. Oh, is that Scanlan's dice in the middle? Yeah. I can tell because it's the most troll. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. So when Sam Regal, who plays uh, Scanlan Short Hall, Gnome Bard. Bard, yep. Uh, when he when he gave his input on how uh, to design these dice, he wanted to be unreadable, basically. <laughs> he wanted he wanted so that all the all the players are having will have a hard time to read these numbers. So you can tell why because one it's in uh, in case in a clear dice filled with purple or pink glitter and uh -huh, the numbers purple are purple. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but then purple is kind of Scanlan's trademark color. I mean, so. in campaign two, you do see him using this dice and he does struggle to read it. <laughs> yeah, I recall. Oh my god. Yeah, who asked him to design those dice, hey, Sam? What about what about that that pink one to my left there? This what one? Oh, this is Percy's dice. So uh -huh. yeah, Percy was played by. Talis and Jaffe. Thank you. Yeah. I'm have. I don't know why I'm having such it's a hard time. I'm a critical role fanboy. I listen to them on the way here. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Percival von Musil Kowalski, the role of the third. Holy crap! You can remember all that. <laughs> oh my God! Kudos to you. <laughs> yeah. 
So uh, what's so special about it? The, the coloring is pretty basic, but it's that nice kind of... It's a very subtle, wispy pink vapor. Subtle yet sophisticated. Vapor going on. Huh? Subtle yet sophisticated. I suppose, that's yeah. That's Percival yeah, in that's his Percival, own right, right? Yeah, that's Percival, and this is his family crest, his character's family ah, crest. Ah, I see. Whitestone! Eh. And over here we have this... Kaleth. Is this teal or is this a blue? I can't tell. Uh, it's green. I'm gonna call it green. Blue green? Teal with green lettering. There you go. It's not green I mean, lettering. I mean, what's nice about this dice set mm -hmm. is that they're all D20s and they're all named after characters. So you don't need to deal with uh, fuchsia, maroon, <laughs> sparkly. Just go for Pike's dice. Yeah, Pike's dice. yeah exactly. Yeah, nice. Can can more dice companies do this? Please just name them after things and people, right? I mean, Credit does that. Animals. Hey, and then you just bash on saying that, what? Some people are unoriginal with naming their dice. Yeah, exactly. But Credit names them after animals, so it makes sense. Dolphin dice, owl dice, Okay, sure, sure. Th those are fine. But this, the Chinese New Year dice? Uh-huh. Doesn't make sense to me. Crimson throne? Exactly. It has a crown on it, not even a throne. Back to Keyleth. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a bit cloudy, unclear, kind of matches her character. She's 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 a what, an Nature, airhead. She's Ayer Ashari, not airhead. <laughs> and she's also an airhead, if you if you see the show, right? <laughs> <laughs> And those last two dice there. This one's I know the royal blue is Matthew Mercer. Yep. Let me find his logo. It's a book. It's a book. Which makes sense because he's a dungeon master. Uh -huh. uh, so he's a weaver of stories, uh, weaver of fates. Because like, when dungeon mastering comes into my head, it's more like um, thinking on the spot of what's going to happen. So these are also <laughs> solid, but the only difference between these solids and the other th Three mm -hmm. uh, is that these are more pearlescent. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can see it. I can see it. So I, I, I don't know. I love blue and gold, and the white and gold. And the white pipe. and gold is also just as classy looking. Uh, I, I mean, it, it's simple, and Pike's character is a very simple character as well. She's not very complicated, but you know, there, there's there's a kind of what's uh, I don't know the word for it. I don't know, like a light. I don't know. No, it's the. It's it's the the simplicity of it, you know. The, the it's beauty in simplicity of the dice. Ah, That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. Yeah. And with Matt's dice and with Pike's dice, it's right there. But Matt is a little bit more complicated, you know. He's got that facet. Those 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 multifaceted faces. Imagine if each, you know, I just thought of this. Mm -hmm. Imagine if each of the numbers were a different character. That would suit Matt even more. That would make things complicated. Yeah, but th <laughs> that would be nice. Hey, critical roll. If you're watching this, make a dice, a d20, with all of Matt's characters on it. For each number. Please. Please! That's gonna be expensive. Please. Think... Yeah, it's gonna be expensive, but I'm gonna buy it. And, uh, speaking of that... Uh-huh. Those Scanlon dice? This one right here? Yeah. I'm taking this. Hey! God dang it, not again. Ah! Uh, what? Someday, I swear. 